XP Page Builder's Dynamic Content Overview. Today, we will walk you through the basics of dynamic content, so let's get started. Before diving in, ensure you have SP Page Builder version 5.5.0 or later installed. Then when you choose and expand SP Page Builder Pro from components, you'll find dynamic content right here, just below the pages. Click on it to enter the dynamic content dashboard. From here, you can create, edit, and manage your collections to display your dynamic data across the website. Now start by creating your collections. You can quickly get started with the ready-to-use collection presets for common content types. These presets come with predefined fields for specific needs, so you can easily set up and start adding content right away. If the collection you're looking for isn't listed, you can always create one manually. And to do that, simply click on the Add New Collection button and give it a name based on your purpose. For instance, we'll name our first collection as Speaker List to list out the speaker-related information and showcase them across the site. Next, determine what fields will be needed to structure your content. The basic fields like title and alias are automatically included in every collection item to help structure your content. These cannot be removed as they are crucial for content organization. Along with these basic fields, you can select from a variety of custom fields to add different data types and personalize your content. Choose the ones that best organize your collection and customize each field accordingly. You can also configure field-specific conditions, such as marking a field as required to control its visibility or validation rules. Now, let's quickly add the remaining fields. We've added the fields for the speaker list collection, and now it's time to click the Create Collection button to save the changes. And there you go. The speaker list collection has been added. Now comes adding the items to your created collection. Click the Add New Items button to start adding items to your collection. All the fields you defined when creating this specific collection are now visible here. All you have to do now is to populate these fields with the needed information. You can go on and create as many items as you want for each collection. Once you are done, hit save. The collection item is ready. To keep your collections organized and efficient, use management actions to edit, filter, and arrange your items. Here you can add or remove columns to show only the most relevant fields. Plus, quickly locate specific entries using filters. You can filter collection items based on date of creation, status, published, unpublished, and last modified date. You can also easily perform a bulk actions to multiple items at once, such as publishing multiple items on your site, unpublishing or temporarily hide selected items and remove unwanted items in bulk. All these actions will make it easier to manage and review your collection items at a glance. Now let's go on and create the rest of our collections and their related items. We have followed the same process to create the rest of the collections and collection items. Now that we have got our collection items all set and ready, it's time to design our dynamic content pages. Simply head over to your SP Page Builders pages. Click on the Add button and choose New Dynamic Content Page. Here you will find your collections listed for you to choose which collections you wish to work with. Select the index page to showcase your collection lists, while the details page is used to display individual collection items. Go on and create an index page, give it a name, and the rest is pretty much the same as creating your regular SP Page Builder pages. For dynamic content, we have three specific add-ons to help you display your created collections. Create the layout according to your preference, and drop the collection add-on inside the created section and set its related source. Please note that on a collection index page, dynamic image and dynamic text add-ons must be placed inside the collection add-on to access collection fields. The same applies when you wish to embed a collection index on any existing page. To map collection fields dynamically, use the dynamic image add-on to link image fields and the dynamic text add-on to connect text, links, numbers, or other fields. 
ensure all add-ins are correctly mapped to the collection data for seamless dynamic updates. You can easily link your dynamic fields to a details page for redirection. To do this, select the dynamic image or dynamic text add-on. Navigate to the page settings and choose the desired details page from the dynamic content section. However, before doing so, ensure your details page is ready. Now, once you've completed the rest of your layout, simply click Save and Close. As you can see, a slug has been automatically generated for this dynamic page. Similarly, create the Details page to dynamically display the related collection items. Go on and design the Details page to your preference. When designing a Details page, you have more flexibility compared to collection index pages. Unlike the index pages, where dynamic text and dynamic image add-ons must be placed within a collection add-on to access collection fields, the Details page allows you to directly map fields to your add-ons without any such constraints. This freedom means you can design your Details page layout exactly how you want, placing and mapping dynamic text and dynamic image add-ons wherever they are needed. The only exception is when you need to display multi-reference fields or lists within the Details page. Only then is the collection add-on specifically required to display a collection list within your Details page. Quickly add the dynamic text and dynamic image add-ons to your layout wherever they're needed. Once placed, connect each add-on to its respective collection field, such as linking a dynamic text add-on to a name or description field, or a dynamic image add-on to an image field in your collection. Once you are happy, hit Save and Close. A slug has been created for our details page as well. Now that we have our details page ready, let's go back to our index page and assign the details page to the relevant dynamic fields for redirection. Simply choose your preferred field, go to the page, and select the details page from the dynamic content section. Great job! You have assigned your dynamic details page to your index page for redirection. Now save and close the page and let's proceed to displaying our index page as a menu item. To display your dynamic pages on your site, follow the same process as adding any SP Page Builder page as a menu. Choose SP Page Builders page as the menu item type, then select your created index page from the Select Page option. Save the changes and your index page will now appear on the front end. Let's take a look. The speaker's index page we created has now been added to the menu. Since we set the collection source to speakers while creating the index page, fields related to the speaker's collection have been included. Additionally, because we assigned the speaker name field to display the details, the corresponding details are dynamically showcased for each speaker. So whenever you make an update to your speaker collection, the changes will automatically apply across your site, wherever this collection is used. That wraps up our overview of dynamic content in SP Page Builder, but we'll be back with more related videos. Stay tuned!